Welcome back in to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by our friends at Fast Frame. If you have an item that needs framing, take it to Fast Frame. It's St. Patrick's Day around here, so we're bringing out a kilt. <laughs> hey, that's the kilt from the, that's, that's my side of the family, the one side of the family, the Donahues from Counties Cork and Kerry, also from Powell. Uh, there you go. The, uh, the, that's a kilt with a map of Ireland behind it. They even put a brass plate at the bottom. They can do anything. I mean, at Fast Frame, buddy, they can do anything, including kilts with maps behind them. <laughs> Get out there this week. All right. Kind of a quickie segment. I want to turn this over to Jimmy Himes. Uh, a few nuggets on Tennessee spring practice. They're about nine, ten days in. Had the first scrimmage. Give me three big takeaways so far from spring practice. The thing that concerns me a little bit is from the quarterback position. On day one, they talked about how there were so many completed passes, and since then, no. They're having trouble completing passes in, against air. They're having trouble against their defense a little bit. That's a concern to me. I thought they would do better in that regard. Uh, another thing that, that I take away is that um, they've taken Justin Coleman, a starter, at cornerback and moved him to a nickelback position. I thought that was an interesting move because it makes you think, well, they weaken the cornerback position. But Tennessee's defense and defenses nowadays play a lot more nickel than they used to. So instead of a nickel guy being on the field 15 or 20% of the time, he may be on the field 50%. But they've taken a really good def one of their better defensive backs and put him at nickel. I thought was interesting. The other one to watch to me is uh, uh, is Von Pearson at receiver. That guy, I've seen some highlights of him that either not just at practice, but when Tennessee was rolling some video when we were over there doing some interviews, they showed this move he made against Cam Sutton, and then they showed that, and I saw this incredible catch that was on the video mm -hmm. where he made against Malik Foreman. That guy, it looks like the real deal now. I think he is a more polished receiver. Don't misunderstand. He's a more polished receiver than Patterson. I'm not saying he's as good with the ball under his mm -hmm. arm, like kick returns and all that kind of stuff, right. but he's been a receiver probably longer, and he runs really good routes, and he's, uh, he's, he's got great hands. He can leap. Uh, I think he's going to be a special player for Tennessee this year. A lot yeah, of talk. I just wish they could throw it to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> so just throw it to him. Uh, thoughts on the uh, quarterback situation? Uh, you know, you do hear the occasional highlight play of Riley Ferguson, Devon Pearson, but you're, as Jimmy said, not a lot of talk about the quarterbacks. How big of a concern for you guys? Well, I'll tell you, it is a huge concern, but if I could ask Jimmy a question, offensive line, I've heard it has been really bad. So as mm -hmm. bad as the quarterbacks have been, the offensive line, I've heard, has been even worse. Uh, yes, that is that is a concern, too. I can only do three. <laughs> if I could have gone four, that would have been one of them. They're, they're going to struggle there. Uh, there's no doubt. they got six guys that, are, that they are okay with right now. But they're working in some new guys, and it's going to be tough for them. And if they're struggling against this defensive line right now, that makes you wonder what's going to happen in the fall. You, you put Bob on the left side for five minutes, <laughs> and he starts cavalarising the entire segment. All right. Um, when we come back on the Sports Source, some Bruce Pearl rumors and some uh-oh scenarios for Tennessee fans. Come on back on the Sports Source. 